and welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again today I'm working with the cane. Yesterday I was working with the idea of the cane locking and then countering with this hand. This time it's the reverse, only instead of holding the cane in the mid grip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it in the locking grip, in the first grip. And when I strike, what I'm going to do is simply come from this position here straight up. Now I have to punch low because I'm hitting with this portion of the cane right there. It's almost like I'm going upwards as I come through. I have that effect. The idea here is that I'm striking just in front of my hand, right there. Now when I do this, I have to practice it regularly and I have to have the grip strength, the strength of my hands, the strength of my wrist to be able to withstand the impact on that. Otherwise what happens is I'm going to break my wrist. It has to be a strong enough hand, a strong enough grip that it can have that effect. That being said, if I'm here like this, my hand is up, I block, now I can counter. I block, now I can counter. I block, same thing, going low, I block, then I counter, I block, and notice there's a slight pause, so if I had to, I could go up, and then I counter. Now this one here, when I block across, I bring my hand back up, and I wait for the hand to retract back out, so I have a clear shot at my target. Same thing coming this way from here. I block, then I strike. 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 And you notice, this doesn't go anywhere. If I'm over here and I'm striking, we have that effect. Same thing on the other side. If I'm here and I strike, we have that effect. I have to have a strong grip, I have to have a strong wrist and a strong hand. I cannot emphasize it strongly enough when I'm practicing, otherwise I'm going to cause damage to myself. If I did the strike without, it would be this way, like that effect. It has to be very strong or there's going to be damage. 